Well, I'm back. And I'm driving this old ass, busted, freaking man lift that doesn't even have buttons right there. I think it's slow as hell, too. So, what's cool about all this is I just found this out a little a couple weeks ago. We actually have water hoses ran. See that? Water hose right there. So I'm gonna go up here and get it. So I'm gonna go up here, get it down. See how I work this damn thing. Uh, it ain't long enough so I'm glad I brought my own hoses so I'm glad I brought my own hoses in here because this one wasn't long enough I got to get up there all right so before I started I jumped up here on the top of the freezer and I unhooked the wire for each of the solenoids on these coolers on this side that way they don't run got my jacket my gloves Let's go in and start melting. All right. I got to do this from the inside because there's so much ice on the back. I'll try to show you guys in a minute that water is just flooding down there. And I can't have that because it'll be slippery. So I got to do it this way, which is kind of cool. I love little streams of hot water. They work so well at cutting ice. All right, this is very hard to record, but I'm doing it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna try to get this inside half of this evaporator done before I gotta go tonight. Gotta be careful with these big ass slabs of ice like this. With smaller evaporators, you can just melt them off of the coil and let them fall. But if these big ass things fall, they could rupture the copper. You gotta really watch it. I am holding the camera with my left hand and I'm not left handed. Hey, at least the water is staying hot though. That's nice. That don't happen every day. Oh. See if my phone gets wet, it starts tripping out. So I can't let my phone get wet. All right, I gotta go. That's an interesting view of the scissor lift that I never get to see because I'm always up there. All right, so that's it for tonight. It's 10.45, I've already put the man lift up and I already connected those solenoids back up there. I'm gonna leave my hose on. I gotta come back in five hours and continue, get the other half of that coil defrosted. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm guessing I'll be able to at that point, get that entire coil good and hot until all that freaking ice right there slides off and comes crashing down. It'll be quite a sight.